Uh, having a Mountain Dew really calms me after killing some zombies. Not live from E3, this is a Nexus Special, Episode 6, E3 Wrap-Up 2012, on Friday, June 8th, 2012. Or, in fact, just watching somebody kill zombies. Yeah, yeah. I think we just, just watched a video about that. Yeah, I just we? did, yeah. Yeah. You know what that was from? That was from Nintendo's release. That was from the... Nintendo pre-show address from Nintendo. Did yeah. I say that twice? I don't know. Don't worry, he said it 6,000 times, so it levels out. Yeah, you're right. Was that a piece of crap or what? So, um, on Saturday evening, that hadn't come out yet, and I was happy. Sunday night, didn't come out yet, I was totally happy. That's when we did our last show. Monday evening, I watched that, up to the zombie part. You know what you should have done? And at that point, I had to donate my brains to the near zombie institution because it was just so corrupt with misery. No, 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 no. that's not what you should have done. What should I have done? You should have run upstairs to your Wii and posted that you were sad because you couldn't beat this. And then the Wii community would have come together to cheer you up. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. With their their new little messaging thing. I mean, I felt so bad for that guy. He didn't feel needed anymore. Even that girl wouldn't talk to him. (laughs) <laughs> yes. Just because just cause they share coffee. So sad. Back to killing zombies, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so okay. let's, why don't we start before that? Why don't we wipe back up a little bit? We're talking about E3 here. E3. And okay. this, we're, we're going to go through the Nintendo, the Microsoft, and the Sony press events. We can skip Sony. Well, we're going to talk about them a little bit. But we're going to mostly talk about Nintendo and, uh, and Microsoft. We're talking about Microsoft. Yeah. Um, but, but we're First, gonna... we get the rage out before we get to the joy. Yeah, so we're going to talk about Nintendo and how they failed miserably. Okay. And, Can I start uh, this? Yeah, go ahead. I want to start this by declaring my allegiance to Nintendo. Okay. When I was a, but a lad. But a lad. But a lad. Um, my brother got a Game Boy. Uh, th- this is me. I'm, I'm not using the coaster, sorry. You were going to get scratches. Uh... I detect no updates, so what I'm going to do, turn off all 3G, all wireless bands, just off. Okay. All right. So, first of all, my brother got a Game Boy, and then we had an N64, then we had a GameCube, then we had a Wii, and in between there, we had an NES, you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, basically, one of my siblings has had every single one of the consoles, and we've all played them together. Right. All and of them. And you've had a Wii, too, right? Yeah. 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 Never played that thing, though. No. Um. We actually got one of the first Wiis, and that's why we can't play any of the games. Why? Uh, something about the first lasers, you have to ship it back and have it sent back. Oh, to... that's ridiculous. Yeah. That sounds like so, a sandy bridge all over. Mm-hmm. So what we did was we, my brother, no, my mom bought uh, Smash Brothers Brawl for us for Christmas. Okay. Couldn't play the game. Ridiculous. I, okay, you know how I am. If I attempt, like, remember when I rammed the parking lot? I yeah. tried to pay for my parking, didn't let me, just, boom, gone. So, after that happened, I kind of installed the... My brother installed the homebrew channel for me, mm-hmm. and uh, some other things, and that opened up a whole doorway for games for of us. Of course it did. We, we tried. We tried. Yeah, right, we right. tried buying it, and that's just... We tried. Could have just sent it back. That would have been work. Actually, my, my brother was putzing around forever. Oh, Target, actually. Well, why didn't you just buy a new one at Target, and then just put the old one back in the box and say it didn't work? That was like five years ago. Uh... The first Wii... Okay. Like, the night it came out, my brother went down there and got it from my man, Mankato Target. Okay, well. Yeah. Either way, point is, I love Nintendo. Been with Nintendo forever. Let me tell you my lineage. So, my, my first console was actually a Nintendo 64. Uh, that was in 1998 when mm-hmm. I got mine. And then in 99, I got my Game Boy Advance, I think. I thought you had Game Boy Color. Color. Nope, Game Boy Advance. Okay. And then... Uh, I don't think, I think I got a Wii in 2009, maybe? But and in then, between there, there's some heresy, wasn't there? Well, and then, also, I must also add, I got a Game Boy DS to play Golden Sun, mm-hmm. um, in 2010, or 2011, I don't remember. Uh, and, uh, heresy, as you say, yes, indeed, there was, I believe, just a PS2 and a PS3. That's it. J- just, just two sins. Okay. I, I don't think there's anything else. Mm-hmm. Peter. <laughs> yeah, whatever. That was some funny knocking. Um, either well, way, we love Nintendo. My heresy involved Final Fantasy. I think it was justified for that reason. Uh, but you haven't even had Final Fantasy for the DS yet. That was my, one of my favorite Final Fantasies. I don't like tactics. Wasn't oh, DS? Wasn't? What is it like? Final Fantasy three. So uh, 
Okay, I don't, remember when I don't, he scolded me for the borrow and lend thing? Yeah. Okay. That was over that game. Oh, and okay. And the result of that conversation was I didn't loan it to you. Well, okay, so one of the things is I don't like the old style of, like, here's, like, three things, and then pick a new menu, and then there's, like, 20 things, and you scroll down the list. Kind of that, that uh, Final Fantasy VII-esque. He's just, like, spamming buttons, like yeah, Final yeah, Fantasy XIII. Yeah, I don't want to do any work. And thirteen two. I didn't play that yet. But you bought the pre-order card. Yeah, I lost it. For a buck, and whatever. <laughs> okay. Oh, anyway, so let's let's talk about Nintendo at E3. Okay, let's start with the controller. Why don't we start with uh, the controller, yeah. Okay. What is the controller called, do you know? Bulbous. No, it is actually called the GamePad. I'm calling it Bulbous. Okay, well, it's called the GamePad. It's rather Bulbous. Why? What do you describe what it looks like? Okay. Realistically, not in your metaphorical <sighs> okay. bantry. Imagine a DS. Okay. Then take a hacksaw, cut off the top screen. And then you take two knobs. I don't even need to take a hacksaw. I just rip it off. Fine. You rip it off with your insane ogre strength. And then so you just are left with this one screen and buttons on the side. Like you have your A, B, X, Y. um, And then you have your little arrow direction. So you have those. And then you have a little camera up top. And then you have two little nubs that you use as controller sticks. And you stretch it. You stretch it. And so it's too big for a child to hold. You know, honestly, I do agree. That is too big for a child to hold. Mm-hmm. So, so uh, this this game pad, it has a some megapixel camera on the top. It has two joystick buttons. It has a D-pad, you know, standard mm-hmm. classic mm-hmm. D-pad. You're doing this wrong. Why? They have two nubs that oh, support 360-degree no, no, no. no. rotation, no, 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 no. and they're attached to sticks. No, no. The old one had nubs. The new one has joysticks. Okay. Also known as joy nubs. And... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it also has um, a, a, uh, X, Y, and A, B buttons, I guess. And it has like this just home... Just like the DS. Yeah, it has home button in the middle. So start select, just got home. And, and some... Kind of like the Wiimote. Uh, and there's like, uh, like a start and select button, just yeah. like the DS. Mm-hmm. Where's the stylus stick in? You know, I don't know if I have a picture of that. Yeah, I, d- I didn't notice it. They didn't talk about it. They showed that it was touchscreen and stuff. But Is there a stylus? Sh- they're using it to draw a picture of Link. Oh, okay. Remember? Yeah, then there must be a stylus somewhere. Yeah. Unless that's a, another $30 accessory, which I wouldn't <laughs> put past rip-offs. Nintendo. Yeah. I mean, they'll give you one with the controller, and then you just have to go get the one that has Mario on it. Right, or, right, uh, right. Yeah. Um, so, tell me why you think this is a joke. <sighs> See, do you know how they're making a big deal about how the controller connects up to the console? Yeah. And how... It, give, it gives you another It looks like a DS. Well, I don't think they said that. It looks like that. a crappy... It looks like a DS, though. Oh, I agree. Why didn't they just use the you DS? Know, because they had so many wireless chips in there already. Well, okay, so actually, I don't think it looks like a DS. What I think it looks like is an elongated and fattened Game Boy Advanced. More likely. Yes. Um, so the DS is, by definition, dual screen, so it doesn't look like a DS. It looks like a Game Boy Advance that's huge and disgusting. But it looks more like a DS with the top ripped off. Right. Because which, it has the A, B, X, Y... Which would the categorically and all look like a Game Boy Advance. But it has all but, the buttons of the I DS. I know, but it's as thick as 3DS and or a Vita. Just so you know, if you look at the side of it, it's as thick as all of them stacked together Yeah, yeah, you're right, actually. It's, it, honestly, it's very like five thick. MacBook Airs. Wow. On the thick side. <laughs> <laughs> Not on the thick side. On the thin side. No, no, no. Well, so tell me why this is a joke. Well... It's a joke. <laughs> um, it, it's just a little bit more definition this time. You just can't use it. They could have integrated. So you're, say, so you're saying they should have integrated leveraged, or leveraged could, their existing products instead. Okay. Do you remember for the N64? Yeah. Well, so the, remember at the bottom of the N64 controller, there was a little thing. You yes. Could put and in. So we had Pokemon Stadium and Pokemon Red. Okay. And so from even from the, the second console or the third console they had. Um, you could interface with their first handheld gaming system. That makes an infinite you amount could of play, sense. play, you can either trade Pokemons with Pokemon Stadium, yep. or you could go over to the Dodeo and then you could just play the game on the thing. Like, everything goes faster because it's played over the N64's thing. Right. And so, it, it, if you want to pl- play the game faster, you just, pl- you just play it on your N64. Mm-hmm. Um, it was very nice, it was cool, and revolutionary. Yeah. And then for the Game Boy, for the GameCube... 
you could, um, if you had a Game Boy SP or Advance or anything, mm-hmm. you just plug it into the back, and then all of a sudden you could just, like, if you're playing um, Splinter Cell, you could see all the camera location. If you're playing... Um, On the second screen? Yeah. That's really nice. Um, yeah, I, I remember that feature being touted, and I thought that was a clever idea. Yeah. yeah. And then for all, like, Wind Waker, you could drop bombs and do stuff. Mm-hmm. And then, so it's, it's been a well-known concept that Nintendo's handhelds link up to their consoles. Yes, and then suddenly, with the Wii and the DS, they kind of mm. stop. Yeah. And did you see the little product video they're demonstrating? The, the zombie product video? Not the zombie one, but the Wii Baseball. Now it oh. hasn't changed oh. in ten years. So here, here, let me describe what the Wii Baseball looks like. Imagine Wii Baseball, and now continue to imagine Wii Baseball. Did you, did you see the difference there? No. Or the lack thereof? Well, so there was one slight difference. You get to aim the ball into the, what is that called? An empire, I believe? Umpire? How about the catcher with the mitt right there? Okay, well, the umpire... You don't aim at the umpire. Well, no, but that's literally what the, the second control... That's what the little game pad was for. You aim at the umpire so that the guy can't hit it from the, the, the bat. Okay. And it, it's such a gimmicky thing. It doesn't work. Mm-hmm. It doesn't make sense. And why do the people still look like sticks without legs? I, I, I don't mind character animation. But it's not animated. Okay. Like it, it, it doesn't need to be animated. Well, you know I don't care about graphics. <sighs> but it, but they look so bad. But sometimes bad is good. But I mean, your product is based on little stick people with extremely disproportionate body structure, and they look like they crawled out of two thousand six. Oh wait, they did. Yeah. Why is that okay? It's fine. No. It's fine. No. Um, either way. Huge disappointment. Nothing's changed. The council looks the same. Everything looks the same. The only thing that is a plus is what when you're not using your Wii, you could use it as a t- remote. That is kind of cool. Uh, up until the point where you get frustrated and you just throw it. And then there goes. I'm imagining it's going to be like two hundred dollars a controller. You know, you know, I wonder. I really wonder. So if the Wii U is this, is it a? It, it's got to be sold as a combo thing, right? Mm-hmm. So it's probably going to be like three ninety nine when it comes out, and then no, it's going to be. 200. Well, but it can't be because the Wii right now is 200. Yeah. Or less, 150. We'll maybe. With they what? Will. Subsidize the, with, with what? the games. They'll make it up in the games. It's fine. They, I it'll be 200. About, I don't know about that because it's so the new console is supposed to be pretty powerful on its own. And but pretty, I mean, it's, it's, I mean it's next Well, box. it is because it runs Opera. Opera Mini. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um All right, I'll put you this last piece of gum. That I'm, I might eat regardless of this wager. Let me see if I can find some hardware toward. statistics for you. So the Wii U CPU is designed by IBM. It is based on the uh, 45 nanometer uh, architecture something. It is going to have a lot of memory. Um, it's based on the Power 7 processor. means nothing. And um, let's see. Not too much here. Yeah, it wasn't even too much in the product video. That was an hour. So it's going to use a proprietary high-density optical disc, approximately containing 25 gigabytes per layer, otherwise known as Blu-ray. <laughs> probably, I don't know. But, uh... Yeah. You think it's going to be able to play Blu-rays on its oh, own? Oh, no, it probably... I'm betting it won't even play DVDs. That's ridiculous. Yeah. So what they're saying is that it's going to be at least outputting 720, if not 1080, which it's is... It's going to be 1080. Yeah, it would have to be. I'm they, not... That was the whole thing about the Wii. Oh, I know, which I think was just a major just loss right there. Stick people look really good at 1080. So what I hear is that it's essentially a little bit more powerful, maybe like 20% more powerful than the current Xbox 360. That means nothing. But, I mean, if you think about it, that's kind of not really next-gen. Yeah. Of course, it is coming out a year earlier than at least any projection estimations of the other two, uh, Mm -hmm. Sony and uh, Microsoft. Yeah. But... Everybody knows what people game on these days. Yeah, an Xbox. iPads. Oh, no, no, no. That's not We good. asked Apple users what oh. they game on. They said iPads. What are they going to say? A Mac? They're going to get games for Macs. Well, if you look at the new gamepad versus the iPad, <laughs> there's uh, some... Uh, Can you imagine? Just It's just not okay. The iPad could be a good controller. Because a child could hold it. I think it could be a good controller, but there aren't any physical buttons. I think that would be a barrier for some gamers. Yeah, like how you like you know how you can hold a joystick like in one direction and it registers that in continuously. You can't do that as well with a we make little suction cups for the iPad. They did somebody did that actually. Yeah, I know. it's dumb for Pac-Man app thing. Hmm. Either way, um, I'm not impressed. 
Yeah, it's Nintendo's over. But it breaks my heart. Um, you know... I love Nintendo. I think for the last couple of devices, like, they, they kind of but, didn't do it for Yeah, me. you know the one guy just retired a, four, a few months ago? Yeah. Um, I don't know who that was. I forget what he who he was, but he wrote, like, every like classic game. Uh, like, he made the Mario, the oh, okay, Zelda. Well, so, why don't we talk about that? So, what do you think about the current status of Nintendo gaming? Now, That's like, fun. not the Wii, but the games. Like they, 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 I, I did not like the newest version of Mario Kart. I still like Double Dash the best. What did you think of uh, Super Smash Brothers this time? The the Brawl Edition was... <sighs> That's on the Wii, right? Yeah, the, okay. the motion controls just weren't... Didn't work for me? I, I didn't I, like it. So I tried to play with, with the motion controls, and it just didn't make sense to me, because I grew up on the Nintendo 64 variation, which was called what? Smash Brothers. Just that's it? Smash Brothers, oh. Smash Brothers Melee, Smash Brothers Brawl. Okay, so I never knew the naming thing. Well, I grew up on the regular one, and that, that yeah. made sense to me. Uh, I never understood But it's so one. funny. Like, with that one, like there's like, you either attack left, right, up, down. Right. Um, and then with Melee, they had like the add to the left, right, so now it's just like 360 degree attack things. Well, I just hated that there's just so many... Super awesome death ray tools. I know, all. right? I mean, it, right. was no fun. Mm-hmm. So one of the things I've mentioned to people is that I think that Nintendo has relied on their lineup of first-party games, so the things they made themselves. Mm-hmm. I think they've relied on those characters and those games for too long now, for, for no, the past no, no, 25 no, 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 years. No, 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 no. Well, you know what? A person can only play the same Star Fox game, the same Super Smash Brothers game, the same Mario game 16 times, and then at some point it does get old. You know, if Mario, uh, Super Mario Galaxy hadn't been, you know, so good, it would have been a problem. But, like, they can't keep pulling that out of the hat. I wonder... For if, the Wii U, what can they do with Mario now? What is it going to be? Time control or something? It's, it's not going to work. But I think the, the way those things are set up, they're set up for children. And the next generate by the time the next one comes out, it's for the next set of children. Do you really think that's true? Because I don't think that's true. Well, I know they're advertising a 30-year-old like, playing the game... Yeah, but. yeah. Uh, I, I just think at some point, people don't want to see the same characters over and over again. I know there are other games. Well, I, I'll always love Mario Kart, and I'll always play Mario games. But and... do you want, for the next 25 years, every time a new console comes out, the same game? Yeah. Why? How is that fun? This is coming from the farmer. Well, I stopped. Okay. Um, no, I mean, I always love little plot twists. I like playing the same game. Um, I still play the same games over and over and over again. Well, I just think they—I they, just think they've been milking the same stuff for too long, and I think they need to, uh, it, you know, re- infuse some new blood into their development, make a new character at least once per platform. I mean, but, with 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 the um, they with, added Baby Bowser. That was a good. That was good. Um, I do I do enjoy Baby Bowser. But they did not add Mrs. Bowser yet. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah. They never really explained how he came to be. Who? Baby Bowser. Yeah, you're right. No one it must have been? Lava. Between Bowser and Peach. Well, he did steal her a couple times. Oh, see? Look, there's the problem. Same game. Mm-hmm. But they, they make jokes on that. Like, what was the you know, last, you know last what, one? You know what the next one should be? Mario should steal Mrs. Bowser. Mrs. Bowser is Peach. No. Well, unless it is. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's just, it's just hopeless. Lost Twister. I, I'm just not... I just don't like that. And so for, like, Pokemon example... I don't like that it's the same game every time. And yeah. they said with uh, Black and White that they were going to be changing the game fundamentally so that it'd be an, a, a reset. It no. wasn't. Yeah, I know. I was extremely disappointed but with that. Ever played uh, Super Mario RPG? Mm, it was for the... Paper. I've only played Paper Mario, and that's not like that. No, it was for the Super Nintendo. No, I didn't have that. Mm. It was a very good game. You were friends with Bowser. You and Bowser were teammates, really? and yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, it was a very, very good game. I want to let you know that um, when I was maybe four or five, I was apparently, like, I mean, as a family, we were too poor for daycare. Mm -hmm. So what my mom would do before work and before I hit school, she would drop me off at Target, Roosevelt Target. And so then in the back room, they had a, like, Super Nintendo and whatever other, like, the thing before the Super Nintendo, I don't know what it is. Yeah, that. And they had two, both of those, and then the employees could just play with the, you know, on the break. And so then I would just play there for two hours in the morning, a couple of days a week, <laughs> for a few weeks. Funny, yeah, cool. Also, uh, Pokemon Black and Pokemon White Two are coming out soon. Did your face just where, go blank? Where'd uh, Pokemon Gray go? Oh, it um, um, didn't exist. How about they just make Pokemon Gray? 
I, I agree with you, but now they're making... Because that's what they've done for everything. Well, they're doing something different. They're making Pokemon Black 2 and Pokemon White 2. 2, yes, that's right, 2. Pokemon Blacker and Pokemon Whiter. <laughs> something like that. Pokemon Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> <laughs> that would sell. Yeah, well, I know it would. Hmm. I think Brock might play a big role in that. I game. was going to say Misty, but my mistake. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I don't know any of the new girls in Pokemon. Yeah, I kind of stopped. Oh, I, I told you I watched Pokemon Best Wishes a while back. Yeah, I right. Ash got younger. That's not okay. I don't know. Didn't Misty come back in that or something? Couldn't, I don't think so. Okay. I don't know. Well, I, I just... I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm just so disappointed and so just not okay with the current state of Nintendo. Let's let's turn the tables. Okay. Halo four. You wanna talk about Halo Four? I wanna talk about Halo Four. So you wanna talk about Microsoft. I wanna talk about Microsoft. But we've gotta talk about Halo Four first. One of the same. I need to talk about mm, Halo Four. Pretty close, yeah. Okay. So remember I said I wouldn't play Halo Four? I remember because of the bungee. I thing. remember when you said Halo Four didn't exist. Mm, I... Long time ago. What are you talking about? Well, that's too quiet to even hear. Yeah, don't thing. worry about it. Well, anyway, let's just move on. So you said that you wouldn't play because of a lack of Bungie, or because yes. of Bungie, or something like that. Yes, and I just said that. Yeah. So what about that? What does that mean? It means I thought they would just find somebody else to make a game and just sell the Halo. Like, like the it's name? Halo. It's made by a stupid company. Like. If they, if they let Electronic Arts or EA oh. Games do that, I would have. I would have. Can you imagine what that'd them. be? It'd be like Madden football. EA Sports presents Halo, <laughs> playing soccer on the no, moon. No, if it was Halo, no, they EA could not make like a simply numeric game. It'd be Halo 2013 or something. Yeah. Like, cause you know Madden is always mm-hmm. number. Okay, so what do you know about Halo Four? No, it looks nice. It really lo- looks impressive. Yeah. What console? Uh, Xbox. 360. 360. Not even the next gen. I know. And it looks that good. So, I gotta go I gotta go find my sister's boyfriend. <laughs> to get your Xbox back? Yeah. I, I need it back before November. And November 6th, I believe. Yep, I November think. 6th. Yeah. Oh, but man. I should at least have it before November. So, why don't we talk about why it's so fantastic? Well, just so you know, in the little trailer, it looks like they used the same maps from Halo 3. I don't know. The, I didn't the same play. jungle thing, but they added some uh, things. And can I tell you something? No. Can I tell you something? No. They finally have a new plot line. So you know it's always been you fight um, either the Flood or the Covenant. Yeah. Or the Flood. And let's do a plot changer. You're also fighting the Covenant again. But <laughs> now you're fighting Forerunner androids. Well, you are also fighting some Covenant too, but... Mostly as, mm, for Like, you know you always fight a well, little Flood and a little Covenant. Know, we don't know what's going on there, but we assume that is the case. Hey, look, I'm Cortana. I'm saying this looks like Forerunner technology. Well, I know, but I mean, I'm... An ancient evil. Hmm, what could well, it be? Well, we don't know what it is. We don't know just what that evil is. It's did not... you watch the trailer? I did, but I don't think it's... It's Forerunner. But I don't think it's necessarily all of the Forerunner. I think, they, I think there's, you know, an evil cult of Forerunners that were just insane. Oh, did it make the flood? Yeah, they probably did, actually. That would make sense. Hmm, and then the other good people had to make some rings. Yeah, see that? And one? then, instead of turning them on, they all just disappeared. No, wait, they turned it on to make them disappear, yeah. I right. Forgot. Well, and so then they made their shield world, but they forgot to go inside. Yeah. Did you ever read that part? Yeah. Okay, well... Uh, the... I think it was on Wikipedia, though. Yeah, well, I read the book, which is a mistake. Don't ever read a Halo book. That's yeah. just not okay. Well, so they made this, this shield planet. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know what they made it out of? Paper. Sentinels. There were ten trillion sentinels. Okay. All huddled together. Mm-hmm. Cool. So, do you know what I noticed from the trailer? <laughs> it looks cool. Okay. And they also had changed the battle rifle again. Did you notice the uh, the weapons from the uh, those uh, forerunners? I love how they assemble. assemble. Like when you take them out, it just goes. Yeah, that, that, kind that, of that, a transformer esque nice. weapon. I think it's pretty cool. It's 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 force field like. It's all like just gravitational auto. Yeah, assemble. yeah, I like that. I think it's a really yeah, nice it feature. Is. It's kind of like you ever played uh, Half Life Two. No, um, not really. Like, th- there's that one gun that does that. Like, it, it kind of reminds me of that. So, in that demo, in one of the, I think it was the the first video on the page that I think you might have read. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I read. I've seen it from multiple sites. Okay. I look, everybody's talking. Well, about so it. the so the gameplay demo, the mm-hmm. gameplay footage. Oh, did you notice it was all cutscene except for like two parts? The gameplay? Yeah. No, it wasn't. Okay. Do you know what I hate? When, when you're playing a game. And then you walk through an area, and it seamlessly takes over for you. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, I do agree. But did you notice how frequently that happened in the trailer? 
Well, or it, and the gameplay. I mean, preview. it was probably a trailer. Like the, it was probably set up. It wasn't like, real gameplay. Right. I know you say it was gameplay, but well, it's not. Part of it was gameplay, and part of it wasn't. Part of it was rehearsed crap. I don't think all of it was rehearsed. I mean, obviously, sure. I mean, sure. obviously, it was rehearsed, but I think somebody was physically playing for two seconds. It was all autoplay. I think somebody was physically playing. Somebody shot a few guys, and then as you're walking from place to place, I hope they make it easier to find the next place. That's what I hated so much about Halo 3. Yeah, I, I don't know. A, a reach was kind of hard, too, but Halo 3 was notorious. for like uh, They had to set waypoints for me to figure out where to go. Well, so, um, I think one of the things with um, the, uh, the the game is that they're, they're taking this uh, new style of um, character art and designs and stuff, mm-hmm. because... They they don't have their old team anymore, which is good. Mm-hmm. Um, so, did you notice anything about the art in general? Just no shinier, shinier. Yeah. Um, so one of the things I know. So do you remember? Was uh, Halo One was obviously on Xbox One. What was Halo Two on? Xbox One Two. Okay. So remember, one, I said that that was the only game I could. I remember, I wanted to replay all yeah, the Halos. Yeah, I, I remember. And they remade the combat. They never made. Like, but they, they never, never redid this Halo Two. Just over. Well, so one of the things I hated from Halo 1 to 2 is how much ever, all of the art changed and just became disgusting. I just hated that they added a second gun and stuff. Like, I mean, that that kind of bothered me for, at first. Well, I mean, I don't really care about the guns because I just don't care, but I'm very art-intensive. Yeah, I don't know why it's, it's pointless. Because I like how things look? Whatever. Why? Go play NetHack. What? Go play NetHack or oh. ASCII Sector. That sounds disgusting. Really? I'm going to go play Snake in Emacs. Hmm. No, no. It's possible. Not okay. It is possible, but it's not okay. You also play Tetris. Not okay. Um, so I hope they a don't mess with the gravity and b don't. The gravity's messed with. It's oh, Halo. No two I games can be the same. Hate that. Halo One's gravity was beautiful and perfect and revolutionary. But I like being able to jump across the moon. And in Halo Two's just didn't make any sense. Do you know what I liked about Halo Reach? No. Okay. In most games, when they have like, when it's a first-person shooter, there's never, ever, uh, like, let's say, okay, let's hop in this airplane and go fly. Yeah. It's always terrible controls. Okay. But when you had the little, um, oh, what were they called? Not Scorp, um, like, the, the shippy sh- things, the Saber Project. Um, like, you get to fly around in these little things, and they, there's actually, they, there's space fights. You, you fought these right. the banshees and other things. Um, in space, and it was kind of, it wasn't like flying a banshee, it was, like, completely different. Uh, so I never played, um... Halo mm-hmm. Reach in depth, so I don't really know, but yeah, I know. That's you right. You said it was stupid and you wouldn't it, play. I just didn't like the game. I didn't like the because you had to do things. Well, I didn't like. It the... wasn't autoplay. I liked Halo One. Everything was linear and made sense. Mm-hmm. It was like an RPG that you can shoot in. Everything's good. Mm. You might really like Resident Evil. It's uh, kind it's of a real too many zombies. I don't like zombies. Well, that you're gonna hate the Wii U. I like Flood. Not really though. Essentially the same. No, the flood are pretty cool. Zombies okay. aren't. They're bloody. Flood don't bleed. They're the pussiest creature I know of. They don't bleed. They bleed pus. That's different. It's not ooze. red. It's, it is, you don't have to be racist about the blood. Okay. Well, what else do you want to talk about Microsoft? Let's 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 leave the Halo for a minute and talk about the Microsoft. Oh, oh so do you know the Wii? That I thing made a, a yeah, long ago? That, that thing. thing that runs Opera? Because it's brilliant. Opera Mini, by the way. Okay, fine. Make a little distinction. Because um, it's not even close to being the same. Opera Real is real, and Opera Mini is kind of weird. Just so you know, everybody likes Opera. Except for you, I don't know why. No, no, I like, I like Opera as a browser, but Opera Mini is just not okay. It's, it's okay for a console that's old. Um, but I, I guess uh, there's going to be some Internet Explorer coming to the Xbox. Yeah, what do you know about that? I do know that it's uh, probably going to come. That's all I know. Do you know anything like if it's going to be an Internet Explorer 10, an Xbox Explorer 9? I think it's going to be a new, like, a xbox toned-down version. Because there's no way you can just port the whole browser over. Why not? Because... They ported the whole UI over. Well, it's going to look... They want everything to look similar, but you need kind of a mouse to use the no, browser. No, you don't. For Internet Explorer? Well, I mean, okay, so they use the joystick as a mouse controller. What's wrong with that? That's going to be annoying as crap. Why? Ever tried that... There's been games that have done that, where you have to use the thing to go and select the letters and stuff. I don't think it's totally it, unreasonable. It is. You can't do that right. Did they demo this at all? I don't remember. No, they did not. That's too bad. To the best of my knowledge. I, I didn't have time to listen to all this crap. I just oh, yeah. saw Halo. 
you know what I think it's going to be? I think it's going to end up being a very ARM-esque style of Internet Explorer. Yeah. Um, I think literally that's what they're going to do eventually. And you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if the next Xbox literally ran Windows something or other. You know how Windows Phone 8 is going to be running... Uh, Windows RT? Yeah. The, well, not necessarily RT, but the kernel, at yeah, least. It's going to be running Windows RT. Um, and I, I think the next Xbox probably would be running Windows. It would make so much sense for them to do that, and uh, I think they would. Mm-hmm. They're still going to have to do a lot of changes. I mean, it's not going to just... Well, I mean, I don't know how many changes they're going to actually have to do because if they get a regular processor that doesn't look weird, it's not made by a- a- uh, in- uh, IBM with PowerPC non- nonsense in it, I think they could do well. Yeah. Um, so what, what do you, why do you think having a real browser would be good? It, it, it's gimmicky, but it, it's... It would make it more of a media center, obviously. Yeah, I mean, it right now... Be- but it's just the Xbox Series does that. Like, if you have another PC in the house, you can just share docs it all over yeah, for it. I think it's so. all automatic. It's it's amazing how well that works. You don't have to do anything. Right. Just say publish and done. I like that. Yeah. So what, you else, what, do you, what else? What else? Don't even do it all the time. Just once. Mm-hmm. And it's just over. What else do you want to talk about in this uh, Microsoft section? You can talk about whatever you want. How about some smart glass? Smart glass. Because this Never is heard of it. we're gonna mark we're gonna mock the Wii U. Okay, I can do that. So let's say you had a tablet it's called a game pad let's say it had a little stupid screen in the center of it and some buttons on the outside mm-hmm. what does that do for you it lets you see other things in the game while your big tv shows you the game right mm-hmm. that's the concept of the week dream- ever played either dreamcast no i never did play that because it, again it was before like i was seven dreamcast was a great system see i didn't really get things that came up before i was alive except for it wasn't okay well see when i could read i was alive before that didn't really exist so you know just so you know you fail if you couldn't read when the Dreamcast was out. When did it come out? Oh, fine, technical, technical. I, don't know, I remember playing the Dreamcast. It's a lot of fun. Actually, they just made a new game for um, Xbox. Uh, one of my favorite games for Dreamcast was Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Um, and that game got... Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 is for Xbox. I've been waiting to get that game. Hmm. But uh, I haven't... came out in 1999. Okay. So, so why could I read in first grade? I could. Really? Yes. You can barely read now. Hmm. So you went downhill. Probably. Well, I know what you were referring to in the second screen on the controller. You know, I like that controller a lot more than the stupid Nintendo 64 controller that has three prongs. But want to know the best thing about that screen? Okay. It's removable. Really? That's cool. So do you remember the um, little memory sticks you had for the GameCube? Yeah. You you bring them over to your friend's house? Hmm. Well, behind that thing, uh, if you're on the Wikipedia page, I I put a picture of the controller card. I don't know. Scroll down a little. Yeah, I see you it. You see the controller? Mm-hmm. See it has buttons on it? Yeah. You see how it has the two prongs? Mm-hmm. You could stick your memory card in to another person's memory card, and you could battle little characters. Or you could oh, transfer cool. stuff over, and the memory card was actually smart. You could transfer everything. So let's say you want to go to school, and it's, you have, you're just going like in between lunch or classes. Mm-hmm. You could just transfer over your saves and do other things like, hey, check out my new character, and then just compare things. You take it with you, and it's cool. Instead of having to buy a whole gamepad to take with you, right. you just had one little controller. Right, card. and a little thing in the center that can be removable. I mean, that's that was just brilliant. Um, oh. One thing I would have liked, though, is you see where the controller cord comes out? Bottom. Yeah. Yeah, that was probably that, that was a always bad, bad idea. But... but do you see how many buttons it had already? You see how um, so Nintendo think... ripped a lot of things off of them? Well, yeah, and that's kind of the whole game industry. They rip each other off. Yeah. Well, so Smart Glass is essentially the Wii U, but just... With not just one gamepad. So here's what you can do with it. You can use an iPad. You can use an Android tablet. You can use a Windows mm. 8 tablet. You can use anything you'd like. <sighs> you know what's funny? What? I think, uh, see, Nintendo released their thing on Saturday, or Sunday evening, I believe, and, or Monday evening, and then the, uh, the Microsoft revealed the Smart Glass project on Tuesday morning. I'm sure Nintendo was just crying and weeping and just crying in agony. Because they had to wait like five days for it to get translated. Oh, you're right, right, right. And they had to go wait in their special conference room on the 64th floor in A. Why would you just say that? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they, maybe this is a running joke in the videos they make. I, I don't know. Well, so smart glass is essentially all that the thing does, except it doesn't have necessarily the um, you know physical controls, obviously, because it can run on any plat- tablet. But it, it can convey data and it can convey all sorts of goodies in the game on a second screen. That's what it's for. I mean, it makes yeah. perfect sense, right? Mm-hmm. Why didn't anybody see this coming? Because it's so obvious. Also, I'd like to mention that the Microsoft has officially killed the Zune 
at this uh, event. So no no more Zune hardware and no more Zune service names. Okay, okay, okay. How many times has this happened? It officially being killed and officially coming back and officially being killed. That was a mistake one of those times. Um, well, here's the thing. It was, a, it was a mistake that was officially re-released? Yeah. No, okay. so here's the thing. So what used to be Zune Music or whatever they called it is now Xbox Music. So that is coming to Xbox, Windows Phone, and Windows 8. It looks really nice. It's very Metro-esque, but it looks really nice. It's kind of a, I don't know, a service that lets you have like little friends and then share things and do cool stuff. Mm-hmm. I think it's really nice. Cool. Uh, and finally, we need to talk about the next Xbox a little bit. They didn't mention it at the conference at the no, E3. No, they did not. But what do you, when do you think it's going to come up? Uh, General estimate. Guess. Year from now. So next July. Yeah. Why? Still before September. Any particular reasoning? They have to be next September. Why? That's the biggest time to buy game consoles. Next September, why? Right before school. Well, why? But why next year? They can't have it done before this year. Okay, but why not the year after? So, in other words, it's 2014. Xbox is old already. Okay. Xbox 360 Slim. Actually, no, the Slim came out mm-hmm. a year, two, year and a half ago. I don't know. It's a, it's a, but it's, it's the same Xbox. All the... So, I was thinking... So... Halo 4 has to come out for the Xbox 360. We know that. And then four, uh, then 5 and 6 have to come out for the next thing, right? Mm-hmm. And so what I'm thinking is, they're going to need at least 6 months before the next console can come out, right? Because they want Halo to you know, be out in the market a while. Because Microsoft uh, strategically is putting Halo as its last big game, probably for the Xbox, you know, its last big name thing. Sure, somebody will come out for something else. Yeah, but I mean that's their big thing. Maybe you don't know that. Yet. Pretty sure that's probably going to be. Just saying. Just saying you have no idea what they're planning. Nobody does, but I mean a good estimate would be that they probably do. Whatever. Uh, so I'm thinking it's going to probably be coming out exactly when you said in September. Yep. Or it'll come out in uh, April of 2014. Maybe. Because I think they want, they think they would like to put eighteen months between Halo Four and Halo Five. Hmm. Do you want to talk about Sony? You can, yeah. You ever hear of a thing called Smart Glass? Mm-hmm. You ever hear of this thing called uh, GamePad? Mm, yes, I think I have. Do you know the general ideas between those two products? Mm-hmm. You know, second screen. Yeah. Hey, you know, you know the Sony people. They have this thing called a PS Vita. Mm-hmm. They're doing the same thing. Imagine that. And Nintendo's been doing forever. You can hook it up to your console. No, it's just wife, you know, wireless. But mm-hmm. they're doing the second screen thing. Mm-hmm. Even them. And now again, I think Nintendo is crying miserably in agony. <laughs> Probably are. That's all I have for Sony news. Yep. The the Sony conference was just the worst. Do you know what it was? They're on their way to say a bunch of nice things about Sony. Like they had so many things to reveal, and then somebody hacked into their computer <laughs> and deleted everything. <laughs> yeah, you know, you're right. They didn't mention that. I think they should have. What, was that last year? Uh, or was that 2010? No, I don't it was remember. this year. Okay. Well, no, it wasn't this year. That was last year. 2011. This, I go by school years. But you're Seven not even in ago. school. Yes, I am. Since when? Since officially I haven't been kicked out. Oh, okay. Or officially left. Well, before we end here, uh, I would like to talk about Final Fantasy. Mm-hmm. So I have no news on the Final Fantasy X that I so desire. However, the good people at Square Enix have revealed the engine for the next Final Fantasy. That's nice. I don't know what it's called, but it's cool. They made a really great video. You can watch it on the YouTube, and it looks really nice. Uh, what they're saying is that this was not pre-rendered. It was rendered on or using the engine live. But, of course, they didn't admit to what hardware this was, so it doesn't really mean much. Mm. So, you got anything else for the E3? Uh, nope. Kind of boring. Yeah. Except for Halo! Play Halo! I don't know. I, I think it's going to turn out really well. Uh, I, I wonder uh, what the multiplayer is going to be like. For what game? Halo. Because mm. that's kind of important for n- normal people. Yeah. Like, what, it's the only what, reason. Nobody plays campaign. Uh, I like campaign. I don't like multiplayer. I'm kind of weird. Uh, what do you think they're going to do differently or the same? It's going to be the same. It, it, multiplayer has barely changed. Mm. Except for they add guns and stuff. And then they, they take guns out. Well, and they probably should do some, something. Maybe that's a new series. They've got to do some new gimmick thing. No, they don't. No? You don't think so? No. No. I think uh, they should. Maybe they're going to ruin Slayer more. Uh, what do you mean? Okay, so remember everybody in the world plays Slayer or King of the Hill? Yeah. Only two options you have? I guess so. Every new version of Halo, they add more crap. 
Like, what do you mean? Like, more options? You could play Headhunter. You can play I don't even Soccer. Know what, that, what does that mean? It means crap. Oh. That's I, like, why you, I like your definitions, because, you know, being specific is hard. Yes, it is crap. It, it's a very essence is crap. No, I do I do like Slayer. That's really the only one I've ever played in a Halo 1. Can I tell you something? No. Uh, well, I guess some people play Juggernaut, too. I don't know There's, what that is. Um, the person who is in the lead gets extra health. Oh, okay. And extra shields. Hmm. And that's it. Okay. So everybody basically teams up against the one juggernaut. Mm, and then okay. the, the next thing happens. Right. So between Slayer, Juggernaut, and King of the Hill, it's the only three game type people play. But every time they add more ridiculous, mini gimmicky fights. Right, right, right. But everybody just plays Slayer. Or Team Slayer. It's okay. very complicated, Team Slayer. Two teams kill each other. Yeah, I didn't think that was that complicated. You'd be surprised. Yeah, you know, I probably would be. That's pretty bad if I would be. Well, you are you, after all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. So uh, I want to do one more game. So anybody who listens to this show... Oh, wait, before we go there, do you do you have anything else? Nope. Okay. So before anybody... or If anybody else actually listens to this, which would be a mir- just absolute miracle, I would like you to write in as to what your favorite console and game was and or when it was and when you played it. Because that would be fun. Specifically yeah. in Buck. <laughs> yeah. Also... I want you to tell me what you think the most popular and most sold console was and is. GameCube. Okay. I don't want you to. I want the listeners, specifically Ian Buck. Yeah. More generally, anybody else out there. <sighs> this is going to be fun. Yeah. I'm going to Yahoo Answers right now. Yahoo Answers? How's I'll that going to work? Yahoo Answers. I guess some wacko is going to say something. Yeah, you're probably right. Like, I love Yahoo Answers because I love to see what other people are thinking and what they have so, so you know, life. earlier today I got this new phone, which I'm not supposed to be talking about. I yeah, am yeah, anyway. Not talking about it. Uh, so you know how I was complaining about it to you before you left. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I went on the Twitter and complained. And I hadn't been back on this laptop since you left, and so the people at Virgin Mobile tweeted me back. Tweeted back about at me. what? Well, so I complained like Virgin Mobile sucks for making this so hard to activate, and then they tweeted, "I am so hard, so so sorry to hear this, but we would be more than happy to help to look into this matter." Hmm. So fun. Yeah, that sounds like a crappy response. But it's funny, that, so you must have mentioned them or whatever. No, I just said the words Virgin Mobile. Mm-hmm. I'd probably have search queries on that all day or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, usually I don't like E3 because it was re- it's usually always boring, and I just don't care. Oh, remember last year's E3, though? No. I had a little girl come out saying, Hi, Skittles! This is Connectimals! Oh. Was that, that? Ju- was that just last year? That yeah, was just last you year. You know, the the Sony the promoted the Move thing so much for no reason. And you know what? I don't see a single person using it. People do use Connect, though. Have you ever heard of a PS Vita? Because I haven't heard of it. I don't see a single person I know. You know, I hear the Click Souls, but that's a lame joke because nobody mm-hmm. knows what we're talking about. I just think it's a dead platform. Yeah, it really is. Well, it's been fun. Yep. I think it's time to call it a day. See ya. Uh, before we go, where can we find you on the internet? Uh, the Nexus. Just, just if you look on the Nexus, I'll be there. You know, you really need a place of your own on the internet. I do. When are you gonna get that? I do. Where? MatthewPetra.com. What are you gonna put there? It's already up. But you gotta put something there. You gotta like share your thoughts. Mm-hmm. Be engaging. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anyway, you can find me, Ryan Ripperson, just about anywhere, especially on the Twitter, Ryan M R. Of course, you can also find me on the Google Plus and the Facebook and. Especially here at the Nexus. And remember, PlayStation 2, I guess, even though it's a piece of crap, was the most popular platform. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Also, of course, you can listen to this uh, Nexus special on the Nexus website, and you can also listen to all of our other fantastic shows. You know something funny, though? Maybe. The Sega was the least popular one. Hmm. Ever played it? No. It's, it was like the... It had a really round crescent controller. Like, was that it was like, like the, the, the like yeah. two round and then the straight it in the middle? Like a, a, like a up, it was like a crescent move. Yeah, and it had the A, yeah, B, and then the yeah, numpad. Yeah, yeah, I do um, remember that, but I never played one myself. My grandma still got one right now. You could go play NBA Jam with her. You know, I think I think there were like demo units at Target in the really old days. Yeah. Oh. That was, that, that was you remember when house. Target had demo units? Wait, they do have demo units now. But for a few years, they didn't have working demo units because everybody broke them. Oh, yeah. well. Anyway, have a good one. 